You know, as a girl, Krista was actually like exactly what you saw in the media. She was always the same. She was bubbly. She was enthusiastic. She loved trying things. She loved people. She liked to connect. She enjoyed life. And here comes the flight crew now. And here, all of a sudden, she's going to have a ride in the shuttle. Krista McCollum, teacher in space. It was very, very, very cold that day. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. We had a very uneasy feeling. Just didn't seem right. Everyone was kind of questioning why are they going up in such cold weather. Four percent. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. And then of course, with all the smoke, we knew it wasn't. It was wrong. Down range distance seven nautical miles. We remember Krista McAuliffe who captured the imagination of the entire nation, inspiring us with her pluck, her restless spirit of discovery, a teacher not just to her students, but to an entire people. I get a lot of letters from uh, young people who tell me how much she's meant to them. I get letters from young people who don't even remember at the time they were too young, but they have learned about her in school and they feel that it, she is a very important person in their lives. I think if Krista were here, she would probably go right along as she always had been. She'd be back in the classroom, she'd be telling them how wonderful the excitement of space was, how the world looked, particularly she, there was one thing she wanted to be able to tell everybody that how the world looked without any boundaries, that we all should be able to live together in peace. Turning points, uh, births and deaths and, and marriages and children and agonies and, and wonderful, the best things that you could ever imagine. I think turning point would probably be where someone sits back and realizes that they might be doing something wrong and they need to change it. You know, there's a lot of instances in your life do you want to call them turning points where, you know, you have to make a decision and that influences you a lot about the rest of your life? If for one second in your life you thought that you are untouchable or that you are a little bit above of uh, average because of your profession or because uh, then life did you a lesson and brings you back to reality. Here's someone that's had a turning point. In my case, it was living. Over 320 miles above Earth. Jim, I so well remember sitting on that set with you last year and how shocked all of us were, but it really may have been hardest on our kids, especially because of the spotlight on school teacher Krista McAuliffe. A year later, some of the shock is gone. And as New Center 4's Mark Jones reports, for some kids, it's been replaced by hope. The kids at Columbia Community School were wearing space shuttle hats today and space helmets, all in honor of the Challenger. It's no surprise 1,020 students go to school at Columbia, and many of their parents work in the aerospace industry. young faces here are naturally excited about outer space and the future tragic accidents are part of the past today's a very special day because some of you weren't here last year but over a year ago one of the space shuttles the challenger had an accident that accident will never be forgotten but the young may have a virtue of forgiving do you go up now even after the explosion yeah because that was only one shuttle all right what have we been studying at the school assembly, 39 tributes from 39 classes were tied to balloons. Then the principal asked what you might think impossible for more than a thousand children, to give a second, or every second, of the Challenger's last flight. Starting now. The tribute was paid, and a balloon dedicated from each student. Let your balloons go. 
with the balloons go their hopes and dreams and maybe a future in the stars. In Sunnyvale, Mark Jones, New Center 4. Wonderful kids. Remembering Challenger and the shuttle astronauts was part of the day for school children all over the Bay Area. At the Northwood Elementary School here in Napa, children gathered near models of the shuttle that they built themselves. Third graders thought of questions they'd like to ask the president and NASA about the space program, while first graders imagined what it would be like to fly into space. If I went up into the space show, I would feel wonderful. If I went up in the space shuttle, I would see planets. I would see astronauts. Asteroids. I would see the yellow clouds close to Venus. This is to the president. Is he gonna? Is he going to continue the space program? How do they take a bath? President Reagan, how did you feel when the Challenger exploded? And you could ask the next one. NASA, will we ever launch another shuttle? Still, a dozen different agencies could have been notified, including the Office of Emergency Services and the Environmental Protection Agency. That's one of the things the CHP had to determine when it got to the accident. First unit of the scene observed that all lanes were blocked and uh, immediately went to uh, see what type of medical aid was needed as far as what type of injuries. The truck was carrying 7,000 gallons of safflower oil. Half of it spilled onto the bridge. So the CHP had to call Caltrans. And Caltrans called an extra work crew and an outside cleanup company. We called in this uh, environmental uh, cleanup crew and they had to work their way through traffic to get to where we were. Caltrans officials figure last night's accident cost thousands of dollars to clean up. They'll send that bill to the people who caused that accident, and they say 80% of the time they get paid. That was the second accident of the day on the bridge. At noon, an AC transit bus started smoking. Treasure Island's fire chief says the driver and passengers got out safely, leaving the dangerous work to his men. It has a potential to be very dangerous uh, when I put my men on board. That's what I'm concerned about. It's filled with smoke. We don't know if we've got fuel leaks. They've got diesel fuel. Nobody was seriously injured in either accident. Thousands were delayed. And once again, it showed how... ...at 7,000 feet use grooming machines today to pat down that new powder. The Department of Transportation or, uh, says that uh, this is the big... So the storm door, it appears... established contact with one of the key Lebanese terrorist groups believed to be holding American hostages. Many of our employees passed the level of stress which they could comfortably handle. NASA insists it can regain its former image, but with a new understanding of its fallibility. I think we'll get back and do those spectacular things, but there'll always be that uh, memory, hey, NASA can screw up. The joint on the solid rocket booster, which the Rogers Commission said caused the explosion, has been...